Hi, I'm Dominic from Biogas International. Uh, we're the developers of the uh, Flexi Biogas technology, uh, where we have got domestic uh, biogas systems, uh, more for the rural areas and the peri-urban areas. Then we have very large capacity uh, biogas digesters like the one behind me. And then we also have the urban-urban technology, which is for people living in town. We have very small digesters that are quite eff effective and efficient. One of the main things different with our technologies is we run on anything biodegradable, so we're not restricted to animal dance. This is the, the outhouse, Asian type or squatting uh, toilet that uses very, very little water. Um, all of the waste from there comes down into this is a digester. This system, this size, is, is running about 14 to 20 people. Um, using it at least once or maybe twice a day each. In the urban areas, because of the, the, just the nature of um, uh, cooking, digesters are difficult to get in. There's already no space. Um, the beauty with our technology is we can put it on platforms, which means that you can be above the roads, you can be above the walkways, you can be above car parks. You don't have to be on the ground. Biogas is by far the best option when it comes to any heat, uh, heat sort of energy. So for cooking and for all of these, then yes, you want people to adopt biogas. The, again, back to the cost of the equipment. The equipment is, it's not, it's not an arm and a leg, it's not very expensive, um, but it's not cheap. So people have to make an informed decision to want to, to switch. So a lot of campaign has to be around what are the other benefits of the biogas other than just the heat energy um, you know because it is a, a total circular economy all of your waste from your farm goes straight into the digester and comes out as very rich organic fertilizer that goes straight back into very organic very rich organic uh, food production um, on top of that uh, it the what comes out of the digester is extremely effective insect repellent so when you apply it as a foliar feed where you spray it onto the plants you will have no aphids, no spider mites, no caterpillars, no creepy crawlies, no, no borers of any sort. So you're going to do away with the chemicals that are going into your food chain. Larger capacity systems like the, the big one you see here covered in the shade net, um, that, that can consume up to about 400 to 500 kilos uh, per day. And it will produce the equivalent of a whole mutungi of LPG uh, per day. The domestic systems will produce, on that feedstock I was talking about, will do all your meals and it, so it will produce about a thousand, between 700 and 1,000 litres of gas uh, per day. Solar is by far the better option when it comes to, uh, to lighting, running light, light devices and things like this. This is 100 watts, 50-50. It, that 100 watts is enough for a small house with um, lights, small TV, running a computer, charging devices. Once you've got solar, your cost is cleaning the panels once, uh, you know, maybe twice a, twice a month. That's your only cost. Uh, if it's installed properly and your batteries are new, then it's, you're going to get five or six years 100% trouble free. I think the government could do a lot more in uh, trying to promote subsidized solar systems for home units. Also at university levels and what have you, there should be courses on these renewable energies. COVID pandemic has devastated a lot of the biogas businesses, a lot of the, the biogas stakeholders, because everyone is holding onto their cash. They're wondering what's next. We'd really like the, the, the county governments to come on board. We're looking for private investors to invest in these technologies because now we're doing far, far more than just uh, the biogas.